I think what is beginning to dawn um, on a number of leaders, including Mr Cameron, who's showing a bit of a shift here, is that austerity alone will not solve the problem of heavily debt indebted countries like Greece. Uh, the population have indicated through the elections they're just not prepared to accept the tough terms of the ba bailout scheme on offer, which is largely financed by Germany. And so the, the Greece people have indicated that that's not, that's not acceptable and they're having elections again. That's causes uncertainty and I think there's a recognition now and Mr Obama's sort of uh, adding to the voices which is saying actually there has to be austerity but there has to be also some uh, growth policies. There has to be some relief in sight for countries which are so heavily indebted uh, they can't actually manage the sort of recovery that will bring you know, uh, uh, an economic uh, stabilisation. All right, David Cameron's figure, a finger wagging, rather rich given the current state of Europe and he's not really telling anyone anything they don't know, really, is he? I think we have to see an element of domestic politics in uh, Mr Cameron's finger wagging towards Europe. Uh, clearly it will upset the Germans and the French to some degree, although the new president of France, uh, Mr Hollande, may be pleased by the fact that uh, Mr Cameron seems to be signalling some support for more growth in Europe. But of course it will, also seem be, uh, it will also be seen to be a bit of a cheek given the fact that Britain is not part of the Eurozone and uh, is not in actually supporting it. So uh, in terms of hard financial support. But uh, I think there's also, as well as domestic politics here, trying to show some leadership. I think uh, Mr Cameron is also showing some anxiety genuine anxiety about what may happen um, if Greece continues to teeter on the brink. G8 summit uh, this weekend, Sunday, New Zealand time. Realistically, given the state of what's happening uh, in Europe anyway, what, if anything, can be achieved at the G8? Well, I suppose Mr Obama will see it as an opportunity to try to make the EU, the, most of the top European leaders attending, uh, including Britain, France and Germany, make them aware of the severity of the crisis. I'm sure they're already aware of it. He's suggesting, of course, that they do go for some sort of modest stimulus. Uh, he wants to see a sort of two-tier track, austerity, which he's following at home in the United States, plus attempt to get public works, um, uh, invest, investment in the infrastructure, public work schemes. But of course, when you're highly indebted, it's very difficult to raise the money for such schemes. Uh, Mr Obama, of course, fears that if the co present situation continues, we'll be heading into another global recession, which could torpedo his attempts to get re-elected in 2012. 